Hey, welcome to Dad Can Cook. And this one's going to be a little thing about some clams. We're going to do some clams in this episode. Okay? And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to do a little 101 on opening a clam. Because I've eaten in many, many places and they open the clams wrong. Okay? Because a real clam lover knows that he doesn't want that clam cut in half when they open it. And I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? So, come over here. I got a bag of clams, okay? And I have some crushed ice, a little lemon, I'm going to make a little cocktail sauce, and I'm going to have a little clams in the half shell. But I want to show you, okay? When I open a clam, when you open a clam, let's get a close up of, of this. Okay, I'm going to try to do it down here. Okay, when you open a clam, you take your clam knife, and it's important to have a clam knife, and you got to go into this side of the clam here. This side, with that little dimple in it. Okay? So, let me... So you come into it, and you come in here, and you got to pu put the clam in your hand, like so. And then you take your knife, and you come into the corner of that in between the shell. Now you don't want to go any further than that otherwise you'll cut across the clam and break the bubble. And you don't want to break the bubble when you open the clam. So now you just turn your knife to open it. And then you take your clam knife and you go along the top of the shell. Along the top of the shell and then cut the muscle off at the top like so right and then you go underneath and you cut that muscle underneath I mean and then you cut the other muscle underneath because when a clam eater is going to eat his clam on the half shell right he doesn't want the muscle to be stuck and has to pull it off he wants it to slide off of the shell so when you hit it with a little bit of lemon Right? You want that clam to come right out. Okay? So I'm going to show you a couple more. Mmm. I love clams. Okay. Here we go. You put the clam here. Okay? You come in with your knife into the dimple until you get in well sometimes that happens but that's okay because we got the top of it and we're going to open it up and you're going to come underneath the shell right underneath the shell on top and you cut it down and then you come underneath on both sides and have the clam come right off of the shell again wow these are nice and fresh okay into the side like so like that turn the knife that breaks it away up on top scrape the knife along the top of the shell You don't want to go through. Now you come underneath and you cut that muscle. Like so. One more. Okay. See that here? One more time. In here. Like so. Turn it up. And. 
See, the shell broke, so I'm trying to put it on the good side. I'm doing this slow, but when I'm opening clams, we do them really fast. I'm doing this to show you. Underneath, now I have that whole clam ready to go. A little squeeze of lemon. That's good stuff. One more. Let me rinse it off. Okay. In here. Into the clam. Open it up. Come above the bubble. Above the bubble. Okay. Underneath. Underneath. That clam's ready to go. I've been many, many places where they just do them real fast, they cut right through them, scrape them down. Inside this bubble is a lot of juice and flavor, and that's what a clam lover loves when they're eating their clams on the half shell. Okay? So I hope I taught you something with this, and when I come back, I'm going to have them open, and we're going to make some clam, whole clams oregonata. Okay, we're going to do the oregonata now. Come down here, let me show you. Okay, this is the butter, the same butter that I made for the mussels, the leftover, okay? And here, I have fresh dried oregano, okay, that I dried out, that was given to me by a neighbor, so I have fresh dried oregano there. So I'm going to take uh, a slice of this butter about a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to cut it in half whoops like so okay I'm going to do that again I'm going to take about a quarter of an inch slice of the butter and then I'm going to cut it in half like so right and then I'm going to take some oregano and I'm going to sprinkle it right on the clam like that then I'm going to take the butter and put it on there and I'm not squeeze. I don't want to squeeze down because I don't want the juice you saw the juice come out of that one I don't want that to happen so we'll do it again take some oregano put that on there some nice oregano and then a piece of the butter just like so one more. Oregano. Butter. Okay. Oregano. Butter. Okay. And I'm going to do that with a dozen of these. Okay. <clears throat> I'm back. And I have them all done. Right? Got a dozen of them here, and I'm going to put these in the fridge while I go in the shower, come out and start to get ready for dinner, and I have two dozen clams left, which I'm going to steam, and I'll show you the steaming, and we're going to melt butter, and we're going to have steamed clams and some clams of oregano, and then that crab and shrimp mix that I used in the last two episodes, okay, and that's in the slideshow that I just made, I'm going to take the rest of that, then I'm going to use it three times, three different ways. I'm going to cut everything Italian bread and I'm going to put that on top of it. I'm going to bake that in the oven with provolone cheese on top. And I'm going to serve that as an accompaniment to what we're eating tonight. So stay tuned. We'll be back to do this after I clean up and we get ready for dinner. Welcome back. Okay, we're going to start to make this dinner now. Okay, it's going to be like a, a lot of different things. Okay, so first I was telling you about that I'm going to make this with the everything Italian bread. So let's check this out. I have the everything Italian bread here, right? And this mix that you gotta watch the other videos. This is the crab, the imitation crab and, and shrimp, rock shrimp mix that I made. And this has the uh, chopped up Ritz crackers in it. Okay, so we're gonna take this mix and we're gonna put some on all of these
these four pieces, two each we're gonna get. This stuff is so delicious, it's not funny. Okay, so I'm putting this on these, here like so. I have the pan sprayed with a little pan release, okay? So it kind of toasts on the bottom, and we're going to fill these up with the rest of our mix, because, you know, we've been eating this for three days, I wanted to be done. Okay, so I have this mix here, right? Now, I said I was going to use provolone, but I don't have provolone. I only have Swiss, so I'm going to use the Swiss. So I'm putting these very thinly sliced tomatoes on here, okay? Well, like a piece and a half, very thin sliced tomatoes on these. Okay, like so. Then I'm going to take my slices of Swiss, which I cut in half, and I'm going to lay them on there like that. Two pieces each. Of half slices. Like so. Just like that. And then, I'm going to just take a little bit of paprika. And put a little bit of paprika on them to give them a little color when they melt. Okay? Like so. I have my toaster oven on over here and I'm going to put these in the toaster oven. I got that nice and hot and I want that to melt down and to, and to cook. So I have it on toast right now and I'm going to change it to bake after they're done just to keep it going for, on the low. Alright, now over here I have my broiler on high and I have the clams oreganata right here. They're going to go in the oven. And then I have two dozen clams in this pot with white wine and a touch of water and a squeeze of lemon. They're going in here and I'm going to steam them open. I'm going to melt a little bit of butter, put it in containers for those steamed clams. I'm going to serve those clams in a bowl with the broth that's going to open up from that with the white wine, the lemon, and the butter. And we're going to have those breads with the crab mixture on them and the uh, oreganata. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, paprika on those oreganatas. I'm going to stick them all in the oven. I'll pull them out and we'll plate it. Okay, we're back and we're ready to pull everything out of the oven and off the top of the stove and out of the toaster oven. Everything's ready. It's all coming out pretty much at the same time. So, you know what? Let me grab a hot tray, a plate, and I'm going to take the uh, clams oreganato out of the oven. Okay, check this out. Oh boy, do they look good, huh? Come over here. Check that out. Okay? And there's going to be six each of these. Look at that, that's nice. Piece of lemon. All that butter that dripped down inside these shells from the, from the uh, stuffing. This is gonna be delicious. Check them out. Okay, let me. Look at that, clams oreganata, okay? Okay, those are going out. Okay, the steamed clams are coming up right now. Whoa, that's hot stuff. Woo! Look at that, look at those steamed clams. Okay, and there's gonna be 12 each. One, two, four, six, eight, 10, 
12, okay? Then the other 12 are gonna, ow, that's hot pan. Then the other 12 are gonna come here. So let's check that out, okay? Get them in there. Okay, that's cool. Whoops. Okay, now we're gonna pour some of the broth on them. Okay. Dynamite, right? I'm gonna put them like so, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now, check this out. Okay. And we're gonna take these and I'm gonna put two of them there like so. And I'm gonna put two on the other plate. Woo, they're hot. Hot stuff. Okay. Let's get that in the sink. And last but not least, some nice butter. Look at that. Steam clams. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Hey! Welcome to Dad Can Cook. This is a little supplement. A little addition to the baked clams. Okay, to the clam, the clam show. And this is a baked clam that we're going to be doing. Okay, now I want to show you this here. All right, this is exactly the same mix that we made with the mussels. Make that mix, okay? And then I took a small red pepper and a small green pepper. I cut it up into a little dice and I sauteed it in a little bit of olive oil and I added it to this mixture. And then I added two cups, two more cups of Italian breadcrumb, all right? And now to that Italian breadcrumb, I have it here. I actually did it and I didn't have my camera on. I thought I was filming and I wasn't. So we're at this point. Okay, so exactly what I said. I had the red pepper, the green pepper, okay? Two cups of uh, Italian breadcrumb in here, right? So now to this, I have chopped clams. Okay, fresh chopped clams, juice and all, are going in that. Okay, now you can make it as clammy or as not clammy as you want it. Okay, so that's going in there. And we're going to mix that around. And you know something? The best thing is the hand. Okay, the best tool in the kitchen. Okay, so we're going to mix that all up in there and incorporate all of that dry breadcrumb and that clam with that melted, with that softened butter. Yum! With that softened butter. And I also hit it with a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder in there also. Okay? Now, I have a half a pound of chopped bacon. I'm gonna put that in there. We're gonna mix that around. Okay. We're gonna get that all mixed in there. This is a great, great baked clam. And this freezes really, really nicely. Okay? And this is gonna be the topper to our clam episode. Okay? So now I got that all mixed up in there. And as soon as I clean my hands, we're gonna come back and we're gonna fill some clam shells for the baked clam. Okay, now I got that all mixed up. And I got nice, beautiful, clean shells that I cleaned and put through the dishwasher and sanitized and everything. So I have beautiful shells. And I'm gonna fill each shell with a little mound like so, okay? Not, you know, they're gonna be overflowing. They're not gonna be, 
real thin in that shell there, meaty. A nice big amount of big clam on that. Okay, this thing is chocked full of clams. Okay, so I'm going to finish these 12. Okay, I'm coming on to my last two. Okay. I'm going to preheat my oven at four and a quarter. And I'm going to bake these in there. Loaded, loaded with clam. Loaded. Okay. I'm going to preheat my oven. Like I said, it's preheated at 450 four or four and a quarter. I'm going to hit these with a little bit of white wine, a little paprika, and they're going to go in the oven. Okay? And I'll show them to you when they come out. Okay, those baked clams are going to be coming out of the oven right now. All right, I went in, I took a shower, got all cleaned up, getting ready for dinner. Okay, I'm going to have a Stella with a squeeze of orange in it. Okay. Let me get this going here. Okay, and we're going to squeeze an orange in that. I really like this. This is pretty good. Okay, so we're going to do that. And let me pull out those big clams. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at that. They're really looking scrumptious. Okay, so we're going to do a half a dozen of each. Right, and then I got the juice on the bottom of this pan, which is the white wine and the butter. And we're going to drizzle that around there, put it on these, like so. And I'm going to take a piece of lemon so we can squeeze a piece of lemon on these. And there you go, the baked clam. Okay? And that concludes my clam episode. All right, I hope you enjoyed everything, and we'll catch you later. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video.